Welcome to FedScoop TV. I'm Billy Mitchell. Today we're here at the Digital Nation Summit sponsored by SAP and I'm speaking with Brian Roach, Managing Director of Regulated Industries for SAP. How are you doing, Brian? Good morning. Doing great. Great to have you here today. And uh, today it. we're focusing on all things digital government yeah. um, and really wanted to dive into that with you here on the side um, and, and, and just get your perspective on kind of the progress the federal government's made of, of, of late. And um, it's a simple question, but um, we'll, we'll start there. Answer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, you know, listen, digitization, modernization, transformation, these are ongoing efforts, right, for the government. And uh, I would say overall, I see a lot of energy and a lot of leadership evolving and maturing in, that, in, in this. Uh, progress is, is, you know, we have mixed reviews, mm -hmm. I think, across government. We're seeing some areas where we're obvious I would say low-hanging fruit where they're doing very, very well, and then the tougher problems they're starting to tackle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Brian, so kind of moving forward, uh, what maybe anecdotes or specific examples do you have of places where government is kind of making those those small wins or hitting that low-hanging fruit? Yeah. You know, it's it's interesting. I think citizen service is an area that I think is important to all leaders, and you know, just looking at government maybe at the at the state and local level, we're seeing. Um, for example, the state of Indiana, who did a very uh, important and impactful effort around infant mortality, we're starting to see governments get into uh, leveraging technology and digital uh, transformation to really solve problems, right, mm -hmm. and uh, societal problems. And so, from that perspective, you know, I'd say Indiana is a great example of that. Illinois is doing a number of things around smart state initiatives sure. that are really interesting. Um, you know, and then you have DOTs out there that are, you know, putting sensors in roads and, and getting much better information and managing their, their budgets far, far better, right? Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned sensors there. So I want to get in a little bit of, get into a little bit of the kind of emerging technologies yeah. that are kind of fostering this digital innovation yeah. in the federal government. So um, are there any in particular that you see really boosting the way agencies are doing this? Yeah, well, I think overall, uh, certainly, you know, we hear the buzzwords around IoT and, mm -hmm. and, and, that, and big data, but I would say just in general terms, you know, we have really no technological boundaries anymore mm -hmm. uh, to provide insights uh, uh, like we've never seen. And so from sensors, from something as simple as, you know, road temperature to, you know, complex medical devices at the VA, uh, but really just then having the ability to take in all that information and ingest it in a system that can yeah. then present that data to individuals so that they can analyze and, and make, you know, sure. meaningful decisions from it. Yeah, yeah. And then finally, um, you know, as, as agencies and, 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 and the federal government and different governments try to move forward in this um, digitization, what, yeah. what challenges are really kind of preventing that? Yeah, I think, again, as I said, you know, I don't think we really see any technological boundaries anymore, which is exciting, you mm -hmm. know, for myself, who's been in this uh, market for a long, long time. Um, but I think the challenges still remain are, you know, somewhat cultural um, in terms of organizational silos, the ability to break down the barriers between those government organizations so they can share data, mm -hmm. share information yeah. better. Um, I think that is the, the really the remaining boundary that we have to clear. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, Brian, that's all I have for you today. I appreciate, I appreciate you stopping it. by. No, thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been a great chat. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm Billy Mitchell, FedScoop TV. Thanks for watching.